Hey everybody, uh, coming to you uh, unscripted here from uh, just west of Ann Arbor, Michigan on this unusually warm uh, spring evening, about 20 degrees uh, above normal for this time of year in this part of the country. Um, actually, more for our global audience, this part of the world. Um, we started working on this in November and, and we wanted we wanted to look at generative AI in general, chat, GPT, BARD, you know, specifically and say, is there an opportunity for us to take this and build, you know, essentially add an, a very powerful ideation layer, you know, to the Kudzu platform. Um, and over months, we iterated it, iterated over it, became yeah, pretty good at, at prompt engineering or whatever they're, they're calling it today. It seems like it's changing. <laughs> almost daily um and what we've built is we 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 took you know kind of our our patented platform with our connector framework reading in a bunch of different you know form types being able to write out to a bunch of different you know low and no code platforms and said let's throw a you know a kudzu bot on the front end of that um here, here's a list of just 15 forms that i i literally just created at about it says 20 minutes you know, if you start up here at 1028 and go down to 1048, it's actually more like 15. Somebody came to the front door, the, the you know, the, the fun of working from home. Dogs started barking because somebody came in the garage, so I had to, you know, stop. Um, I had to take a phone call. So there's some breaks in there. So about a minute per form. And you can see th this spans very serious, acute care unit, you know, nurse brain. If you're a nurse, you know what that is. If you're not a nurse, you're like, what's a nurse brain? It's literally... It's literally like when one nurse hands off a group of patients to the next nurse. Um, my, this is my wife's life <laughs> on a daily basis. And, and she sat down with this and typed in a bunch of different forms, some very general, uh, some very specific to units, and was, was amazed at you know the completeness, not only the completeness of the forms, but stuff that's typically freeform text in forms that she fills out were actually drop downs or multi select lists that were that were very complete in in the options that they presented but then we got down to like you know 320 some odd year you know year old sons um come up with clown university registration cartoon you know, supervillain job application. And this this one tickled me because of things like, you know, previous villainous achievements, you know, successfully robbed a bank, kidnapped a high profile individual, created a doomsday advice device. What's your motivation for villainy? Revenge, power and control, greed and wealth, ideology, <laughs> ideology or beliefs. I mean, it's just, it's, it's funny, but then you look at it and you're like, wow, that's, it's oddly specific and very rich, you know, from a, you know, rich experience from a, you know, quality of, of input perspective. Um, you know, we had uh, some, one of our partners who's uh, uh, very, very into aviation come up with the Cessna 182 aircraft inspection. Um, this is kind of a, you know, hey, funny, ha ha. Look at the cool thing we're doing. VC guys give us a, you know, term sheet. Um, this is for, you know, our friends over in uh, Germany. We, uh, you know, pointed it at the Collab Summit site and said, give us a attendee registration form. And it actually pulled out, you know, information from the website. So that was, uh, that was super cool. Um, I'm a lacrosse coach. So give me the lacrosse game day volunteer sign up form this is going to be the death of of sign up genius sign up genius um but all this in in 15 minutes and you can just kind of see you can you, can, you start with a lot of these platforms with you know here here's 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 a dozen form temp templates here's 50 form temp templates this is limitless endless right literally anything you can conceive from real to fanciful, right? My 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 kids are really into can jam. It's that, you know, it's the the the, the black, you know, cylinder with the with the slot in the front. If you throw the frisbee through the slot, the game's over. You can knock it into it for one point, you can hit it straight on for, for two. If somebody knocks it into the hole, it's three. We did a 
can jam, a zero gravity can jam tournament uh, team registration on Mars. And it, it gave a whole bunch of information that was contextualized into that. It's, it's fanciful. It's, it's funny. It's interesting, but it demonst but, but things like that demonstrate the power of this capability. And this isn't just us, you know, taking some simple prompt and sending it off to chat GPT and crossing our fingers and hope it, hope it, it comes back with something. This is, as I said, months of us really getting good at, at building these complex prompts, extracting what we need to get in layers out of these, these large language models, using the powerful you know, parsing and translation capabilities we already have in our platform to take that translated into our uniform model, which again is, is part of our, our, our patents, and then once it's in our uniform model, it can be written out to any or all of our supported destinations. So I can write it out to, you know, Formstack. I can write it out to Jigs. Let, let's just let's just do one. And again, it, the, the fun thing about demonstrating this is I, I love getting on webinars and just turning it over to the the, the partner. Uh, in most cases, recently, because it's we've been kind of hush hush about this, and in some cases, you know, prospective customers, investors, and and others, is hit me, give me, give me something, give me, give me, give me your craziest, wildest form, and we've been hit with everything you can, you know, well, maybe not everything you can imagine, but a lot of what you can imagine, and probably a few things you couldn't, and it it performs flawlessly. Every time, and again, you, there's more you can do with it once it's once it comes up. So let's just let's just get into it. I'm going to do emergency room um, intake and triage form. I had to fill one of these out recently to have my gallbladder taken out. So it takes a couple seconds. Again, we're kind of saying, "Hey, give me help me out," and then doing some qualifying things behind the scenes. We're filling out drop downs where we, we where it's obvious that it's a drop down. You know, reason for visit that can be a text description, but we can also say, I want reason for visit to be multi choice. Zubat wants to know if I want help populating that list. Yes, I do. Thank you. And it gives me, you know, what is a, a pretty good list of, of reasons. Chest pain, shortness of breast. You know, you, you've got a nice list of reasons for why I would be there. You know, a list of symptoms. You know, medical history. I can make that a multi-choice too. Let Kudzu Bot do its thing. You know, vital signs as a text box, probably not great. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a vital signs section in Kudzu Bot. It's going to pop up and ask me if I want help filling out that section. So now it's going to go out, given the entire context of what we've done already, and generate fields that are relevant to vital signs for you know this particular form. I'm also going to shorten up the name of this a little bit. ER intake and triage. While I was doing that, look what it came back with. Blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature, oxygen saturation, pain level, Glasgow coma scale. My wife would be like, you know, super happy right now with this form. Um, so now I have I have a I have a legit, you know, ER intake and, and triage form. And I and I can pick different layouts for some of the different destinations. You know, jigs, we're you know, going to kind of do one column because it's a mobile device. Some of these other ones will, will kind of default, default to two. I'm just going to leave it on uniform. Click, o click OK. It'll do two columns. That quickly generated a nice form, 36 fields. I'm going to the preview. You can see what I have here. Patient information, emergency contact information, uh, medical information. You know, triage information, optional fields that, that that could be included. We could rename that section if we wanted to. Um, vital signs, very you know, complete, very descriptive. But then I can take this, flip over here to the second row, click out right. Let's write it out to form stack. Now, form stack is a you know a very large 
probably uh, arguably one of the leaders in, in kind of the SaaS, um, you know, form automation space. They do a lot with, with Salesforce, very tight integration with Salesforce. Um, so we can read their system. I, I'm going to say I'm going to create a new folder. I'll call it medical forms. There's nothing there to overwrite. I'm going to just embed images, click OK. This, this happens really fast. We're going to build that form. And now I can flip over to my form stack tenant here. You can see I just created that medical forms folder. There's my intake and triage form. I can go into their designer experience. You can see all the fields there. There are the reason for visits, symptoms. Let me go click view live form. And there's my form. So we started out with an idea, simple. Emergency room intake and triage form. And in a couple minutes, I have a ready to go form inside of Formstack. But I could have taken this and written it out as Power App. Could have written it out to Skybo, Lightning Tools, Nintex Automation Cloud, Nintex K25, um, any number jigs, any number of, of platforms that, that we support. This is the first one, to tease. There'll be more coming. Um, action items. If you are a low code, no code platform and you're watching this, call us. You know, you, you want the start with kudzu bot built into your, your product. Um, except Microsoft, they've already got their own. Um, if you're, you know, a, a implementation partner that wants to get your hands on this capability, contact us, reach out. You can reach, reach out to me on, on LinkedIn. Um, if you're a customer that wants to start, start playing with this as well, reach out to us. This is in our sandbox environment right now, so it's not production yet. Um, and we're going to keep rolling this out as we lead up to the um, you know, full launch at the European Collaboration Summit next month. Thank you. Have a good evening. Stay tuned for more.